quickly, let's talk about how to obtain the differential equation, giving the solutions to that differential equation. Assume y is equal to c exponential 2x. This is the solution to a differential equation. You don't know that differential equation. Somebody solved a differential equation and obtained this as a solution to that differential equation. Now, because c here is what we call an arbitrary constant, an arbitrary constant has infinite values. C could be 1, C could be 3, C could be 4, as many values are possible. Now, when we have such an arbitrary constant there, we tend to call that solution a general solution. So this solution to a differential equation is the general solution because there are many possible values of C here. But when we assign a value of C, let's say 2, probably because we know Y and we know X, we use that to get C. When you assign a value of C, it becomes a particular solution because out of several po possible solutions, there's a particular solution you have, and this is a particular solution. This is a particular solution, but this is a general solution. So we have a general solution, we have a particular solution, and we have a singular solution, as the name implies. A singular solution is a solution in which there is only one particular solution there is no other solution this is a particular one this is a particular solution this is the general one so in this kind of case there's different particular solutions here but when you find out any differential equation that can lead you to a singular solution it's a scenario whereby you have only one particular solution and it's very rare to see such solutions so in obtaining a differential equation if there are two arbitrary constants you have to differentiate twice to remove those two arbitrary constants. If there are three arbitrary constants, you differentiate three times. But in this example here, there's only one arbitrary constant. So we'll be differentiating once. The aim to obtain any differential equation from the solution, the aim is to remove this arbitrary constant. So if there are n arbitrary constants, you have to do differentiation n times. So the order of the differential equation you obtain is a function of the number of arbitrary constants. So when you have three arbitrary constants, you have the order as three. So let's quickly obtain this. If I differentiate this once, I'll have dy over dx equals to two times c, two c. When you differentiate exponential, you get the same thing, exponential two x. Now, I want to eliminate c. I know that c, c exponential 2x is y. So anywhere I see c exponential 2x, I will remove it and put y. So this place is y. I will have dy over dx is equals to 2y. So dy over dx minus 2y is equal to 0. This is the differential equation from this solution. So in some other videos, in the next video, we will be taking this back to this form. But for this video, we'll be talking about how to obtain the differential equation. This is the differential equation from this solution. Let's do another example. Let's say we have y equals to a exponential x plus b exponential 2x. Now, there are two arbitrary constants here, a and b. So it means that we'll be differentiating twice to eliminate a and b. So if I differentiate once, I'll have dy over dx is equals to a exponential x. If I differentiate the second, if I differentiate this part, I'll have two times this, 2b exponential 2x. Now this is the first derivative. If I differentiate the second time, I'll have the square y over dx square. If I differentiate this, I'll have a exponential x plus when I differentiate this, I'll have 4b exponential 2x. Now, we said the aim is to remove A and B. So, if I solve these two equations simultaneously to obtain A and B, what I will get for A and B, I will impute it in this one. And this will be my differential equation. Now, if I don't want to work with these two equations, I can decide to work with these two equations and solve for A and B. Then, whatever I get for A and B, I'll substitute it here. If I don't want to work with these two, I can as well decide to work with this, the first and the third equation. Whatever I get for A and B, I will substitute it into the second equation and obtain the differential equation. Now, if I work with these two, 
these two are just same thing so i can easily eliminate them so if i do this equation minus this equation i'll have dy over dx minus y then this minus this is already zero plus 2b exponential x minus b exponential x when i do that i'll have b exponential x because when i have two times something minus one of that thing i'll have one of it so this is equal to zero i can leave my b exponential x like this or i can decide to make b the subject formula but i don't want to make b the subject formula because it will be more stressful to write exponential 2x all the time so anyway i see b exponential 2x i will just substitute these values here so if i substitute this value into this first equation here i will obtain a I, we are working with these two if i substitute this b exponential x into this equation i will obtain my a so anyway i see b exponential x i'll put dy dx minus y so we have dy over dx is equals to a exponential x plus two times of b exponential x which is dy dx minus y so the aim now is to make a exponential x the subject formula so if i take this one to the other side i'll have dy over dx minus two brackets dy over dx minus y equals to a exponential x so we have gotten a exponential x let me open the bracket since there's dy over dx here and there's dy over dx here i will have dy over dx minus 2 dy over dx minus times minus i will obtain plus plus 2y equals to a exponential 2x so this is 2y dy over dx minus 2 dy over dx is minus dy over dx is equals to a exponential 2x now we have a exponential 2x and we have b exponential 2x now because i worked with these two equations i will substitute my a exponential x here and substitute my b exponential x here so anyway i see a exponential x i'll impute this value so our d square y over dx square is equal to a exponential x which is 2y minus dy over dx plus 4 b exponential x 4 b exponential x so anyway i see b exponential x i'll impute dy over dx minus y so we have the square y over dx square equals to 2y minus dy over dx plus 4 dy over dx minus 4y so when i collect like terms 2y minus 4y we give us minus 2y then dy minus dy over dx plus 4 dy over dx we give us plus 3 dy over dx so if i decide to arrange this equation and take everything to the other side i'll have i'll have the square y the square y over dx square minus 3 dy over dx plus 2y is equal to zero and this becomes the differential equation of that solution we just solved so this is the differential equation remember i told you that when you have two arbitrary constants the the, the order of that differential equation will be order two so let's do one more example and we'll, we'll be done with this video one more example for this video let's say we have a solution of a differential equation y equals to a exponential x plus b sin x i want to it could be cos x that is here but let's work with this i want to obtain the differential equation now there are two arbitrary constants here and because there are two arbitrary constants here the order of the differential equation we will obtain will be order two so let's differentiate the first time the y over dx is equals to a exponential x if you differentiate sine you have cos we have b cos x now we are differentiating twice so we differentiate the second time the square y over dx square will be a exponential x then if you differentiate cos you will obtain minus b sin x now 
If I want to eliminate b sine x, I can work with these two equations. Because this one has cos, both of them have sine. So if I add these two equations, this b sine x will cancel out with this. Or if I subtract, this will cancel out with this. I can decide to work with these two equations too. Ax and eliminate this and solve for this. But it will be complex because I will be having sine x and cos x. So uh, let me work with these two equations. Let me add this and this. I'll have y plus the square y. There are different ways you can solve this. But you have to think very smart. The easiest way you can do that. So if I add this equation with this equation, I'll have y plus the square y over the x squared. Then ax plus ax, which is 2ax. Then this plus this, there's a minus sign here, becomes 0. So I can easily obtain my a, a exponential x is y plus the square y over the x squared. Everything divided by 2. This will be my a exponential x. So I'll keep this value. I don't want to solve for a. I can decide to take this exponential x downward and solve for a. But it will make me to start writing a lot of things here, which we don't want. So let me substitute this value of a exponential x into this equation or this equation. If I substitute it into this equation, we'll solve for b sine x. So let me substitute that. We have y is equal to a exponential x, which is y plus the square y over dx square, everything over 2, plus b sine x. I do not want this 2 to be here, so I'll multiply through by 2, so that I will not have too much fraction. I have 2y is equal to y plus the square y, over dx squared, dx square plus 2b, I've multiplied through by 2, sine x. Now, there's y here, there's y here, so I can easily do that. I'll have 2y minus y minus the square y over dx square equals to 2b sine x. 2y minus y is y, so we have y minus the square y over the x square equals to 2b sine x. So b sine x is equals to y minus the square y over the x square. We have gotten b sine x and we have gotten a exponential x. Now if I substitute it back here, I will eliminate everything. If I substitute this, and this into this equation, I will eliminate everything. If I substitute this 2 exponential, 2a exponential ax, exponential x, and this into this equation, because I worked with these two equations, everything will be eliminated. So the best thing is to substitute it here. But our problem here is we are having a sine x here. So let's just make b the subject formula. We have b is equals to y minus the square y over the x square over sine x so anywhere i see a exponential x okay i've cleaned it anywhere i see a exponential x which is this anywhere i see it in this equation i'll put this and anywhere i see b i'll put this so i'll be having something like dy over dx is equals to a exponential x which is y plus the square y over dx square over 2. we have gotten this part Sorry, in this part, we divided by 2. Or let me put this like this. The 2 will be here. Then minus b is plus b cos x. So our b is y minus the square y over the x square over 2 sine x. Then this is b cos x. Let me simplify that expression. If I simplify that expression, let me multiply through by 2 first. I'll have 2 dy over dx is equals to y plus the square y over dx square all over sine x. No, there's no sign. Plus y minus the square y over dx square. I've removed that 2, but there's over sine x. Recall from your basic trigonometry that cos x divided by sine x is cot x. 
So this will be cut cut x. There's y here. There's y here. So let me take all the y to one side so that I can simplify. I will have 2 dy over dx is equals to y plus d square y over dx square plus y cut x minus d square y over dx square cut x. y is common to these two. d square y over dx square is common to these two. So dy, 2 dy over dx becomes y open bracket. 1 is left here plus cot x then plus the square y over the x square 1 is common here 1 minus cot x so I can rearrange this and take this one to this side I will have the square y over the x square open bracket 1 minus cot x is equal to I'm taking this differential coefficient to the other side minus 2 dy over dx then I'll leave this y plus y open bracket 1 plus cot x this becomes the differential equation of that solution we used of this solution this is the differential, differential equation so when we start solving differential equations we'll be able to take this back to this form yeah, we talk about Bernoulli, we talk about different ways of solving, we talk about exact, we talk about homogeneous, and we talk about inhomogeneous. And that's all for this video. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you very much.